Hi guys! Recently I made this uh, TN insert, junk journal, art journal, however you want to call it. And in this video I want to do a quick flip through to show you what I've done in it. And after that I want to make a new one and I'll take you with me just to show you how I did it. I used 12 by 12 design papers and just regular A4 printer papers to put it all together. So each page has one side the design and on one on the other side the white page. So my first page I used my hexagon punch and punched out a lot of them uh, from other papers that I had and I used some of the stamps that have sayings on them. So this one says I'm not weird, I'm limited edition. This one is Dutch, it says trek iets positiefs aan dat pas altijd. So it says wear something positive that always fits. This is perfectly imperfect. And the last one says regen tussen de druppels is het droog. So it says rain in between the drops, it's dry. On the second page, I played around with my stamps. So these stamps are like the circular stitch stamps. And I put down the seize the day die cut in one of the bigger ones. I thought that fit well with the design paper with the circles. Then my next one you might have seen on Instagram as well. So it's a quote page that says it's progress, not perfection. These are thicker, so the, the slightly thicker alphabet stickers and some washi that fit nicely with the wood pattern. The next one is actually the first page I made. So I made this gift tag and I punched a hole through it and put down the circular sticker with some stickers that have sayings on them. So it says, hello, fall, shades of fall, falling into fall, picture happy stories. Then I made, on the next page, I made this dashy washboard, uh, dashboard. So I just chose a bunch of the washi that I have that I love and I stuck them all down the page. On this page, I played around with other stamps. So this is a photo play vintage girl collection with the jars with the flowers in them. I punched out a circle, put down a little uh, twine or ribbon. And this sticker says, beautiful minds inspire others. And I made a border, border with the washi tape. Then I used some other stamps from that same Vintage Girl stamp set. So the chair and the mug with the flowers and again the jar with the flowers. And then in the middle page I had a full white spread. So I chose a paper from a 6x8 paper pad with this gorgeous camera on it and I stamped the stamps that had something to do with taking pictures. On this page I played around with all the fountain pen inks that I have. So I have these five colors and I swatched them and I also colored in some of the clouds on the page with that same ink. This page I made when I had a terrible headache so I was not feeling that great that day so it was a big fat nope but I still wanted to do something so this is what happened. And then I was looking through my stickers and these are Carpe Diem stickers and I love them all but I don't really use them so I thought that this was a great way to actually use them somehow. And the next one I cut out uh, all these girls from another design paper and it says rain is just confetti from the sky and I put down the dotted lines to resemble the rain and then I added them to the other page as well to make them more cohesive again. On this page I had found another paper pad that I have with a lot of vintage paper in them. So I cut those down and stuck them down and made this. 
and this page I used a lot of the scraps of the paper so I had a lot of strips of paper left so I put them down and it says fun colored leaves adventures and here it says life is better when you're laughing and because the colors all kind of match that it still makes one big page and on the last page I did some repeat stamping so in a couple of different colors and then I also did the repeat stamping but with a different stamp on the back page and to make the two pages come together again I made a small tag where I used that same stamp again. So that was this insert. Now let's make a new one so I can have fun again in the coming weeks. So what you need to make an insert the same size as the one I just showed is four A4 printer papers and for design papers the 12 by 12 are the easiest so we just have to cut those down to size. So what I first do is make them the same size uh, on this side just to make sure that the, the height is good and then I'll fold them all and stitch them together and only at the end I will trim everything down. So let's get started. I like to measure out the papers one by one just because my paper trimmer can't actually go through four papers at the same time. The next step is to folding them. So I like to use my cutting mat just as surface just so that I can use my bone folder without disrupting my desk. So first I'll fold the A4 papers because those are easiest to do. And I like to use the bone folder just to make a very sharp fold but you can also do that with a card or just with your nails. Next are the design papers so I have to choose which side I want on which side but it actually doesn't really matter what you do. And then I fold them over and I like to make sure that one of the sides is about 12 centimeters so that I have a slightly bigger scrap to use on the papers as design. And in the end, I will cut everything down to 11 centimeters. So first I do the fold just using my fingers. And then once it's folded, I go over it with the bone folder once again. So you see now that there's one side bigger than the other, but it's more than 11 centimeters now so it's fine and of course if you're not worried about scraps you can just fold them exactly in half as you can see i didn't actually cut too straight so we have to fix up the short edges as well but that's fine We'll just see how it ends up before I do anything. So now we can assemble the notebook. So I have to decide which page I actually want to be the, the cover. I really like uh, this one the most. So that's the one that's go as a cover. And then I just alternate between design paper and white paper. And then I end with a white paper in the middle. You, of course, you can also decide to end with the design paper. And as I already noticed that the bottom of the pages were not really cut properly, I make sure that all the pages are 
aligned at the top so that so that the top one is correct and then I will only have to trim the bottom but before I cut everything off I first as put the staples in so I'll just clip everything together so that it kind of stays how it should on both sides I'm using this long arm stapler because that really makes it very easy to get the staple where you want but it's still kind of messing around and just measuring a bit to make sure that you're actually on the right spot okay here goes nothing as you can see that's nowhere nowhere even close to being correct hang on let me let me take that out and try again. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, that's better. Now let's try it again on the other side. Okay, that one at least in the inside is on the right side, so that's fine enough. So then we can fold it over again. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it'll hold everything together, so that works. Works for me. And this side is already good but here you see that there's a lot of overhang so we will fix that later but the first step is to get the sides trimmed off correctly so let me first measure that out so as i said i want to have it at 11 centimeters And then I just start carefully trimming down the pages. The trick with this is that you just have to take your time and go slow. And at some point you'll be through all the pages. As you see, I, can, I kind of hit my ruler sometimes. So if you have any tips for where I can find a good ruler maybe a metal one just please let me know in the comments because I'm still looking so now as you can see the edges are nicely all the same size there are some bits of pieces of paper there but just go over it with your hands a couple of times be careful not to cut yourself of course paper cuts are the worst and there we have it that's the notebook what I said about the bottom not being straight I actually don't really mind it it's not too bad so I'm not gonna bother with trimming them still that the outside paper is the longest so it's not like there's a lot of things sticking out and I'll be putting it full with other papers again anyway so it will be pretty chunky and then you won't really notice it so the leftover papers I can use as scraps So as you can see, it's the same idea again, that you have one side the design paper, the other side the white paper. And this side is the opposite. 
then this one is more white. You have the one with the leaves, the other one with the leaves. The paper is a bit dirty. Hmm. And this design paper, more leaf flower things, and you have the one in the middle with just plain white. And you have the same thing but flipped around from which on which side the design is, but it's the same. So we have the leaves again. This one with the raindrops. And the squares, and then the back of the insert. So I'll be having fun in this one as well, and then once it's finished, I'll show you the end result. Thank you for watching. Bye.